Is Lisa Marie Presley the king's only child? Actually, there are for people who claim to be biological offspring of the king Elvis. And they came through love dating with the king. Elvis Presley was only ever married to Priscilla Presley and had one recognized daughter, Lisa Marie Presley. Despite the many people emerging after his death to claim the king was their father, we shouldn't be surprised then that over the years, several people have come forward to claim they are related to him. Since his death, many have come forward to claim they are the rightful heir to his fortune, though many Elvis Presley fans have dismissed them as fraudsters. The first one was Desiree Presley in 1987. The Orlando Sentinel reported that 28-year-old at that time, Desiree Presley could be Elvis' love child. Her mother, Lucy D. Barbin, wrote a book about it. Are you lonesome tonight? The untold story of Elvis Presley's one true love and the child he never knew. Barry Matera, a former Miami News reporter, was able to verify her resemblance to the king. De Barbin chronicles how she met Elvis Presley in 1953 when she was 16, and they continued to see each other for 24 years. However, Graceland rep responded that the book is ridiculous and incredible and will not dignify the matter. The second was John Smith, in 2013, a country singer in Scottsdale, Arizona came forward with DNA evidence that he was the result of Elvis Presley's One Night Stand with his mother. He wrote a book to share his side of the story, titled Let the Boys Sing, Elvis is My Daddy, which contained supposed revelations about John Smith's relationship with his claimed father. However, many have dismissed it as a hoax, and Smith eventually showed a PDF of a birth certificate stating his birth parents as Elvis A. Presley and Zona Marie Roach. But the article notes that it could easily have been edited and authorities never took it seriously. And the third, Deborah Presley Brando. Deborah was born in 1956 to college sweethearts, but always felt like her biological father might be someone else. After hearing stories about her mom's involvement with the king, Deborah went to court in 1989 to declare herself the legal heir of the jailhouse rock star. Priscilla Presley was co-defendant in the case and testified against Deborah before the court ruled that only Elvis children born in wedlock were entitled to his assets. Although the ruling still raised some questions, the case wasn't brought up again. The fourth was Elvis Aaron Presley Jr. in 2020. A circus performer and Elvis impersonator declared himself a biological son of the real Elvis Presley. Born Philip Stanek to Angelique Dolores Pettyjohn, the singer claims he was adopted by a circus family and wrote on his website that he was the son of the late Elvis Presley born out of wedlock in 1961. Corey Cooper, an Elvis Presley historian, finds these types of situations sad as they get a little media attention and feel special for a while. 